Creality is crushing it. Maybe I'm just old fashioned, but it took me quite a while to start really diving into using a laser and the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt laser, the version they sent me last year was the first one I ever put into full production in my shop. I've definitely enjoyed the other lasers, but they all seem to be lacking a little bit in the power department, having only been up to a 10 watt laser in the past. The 22 watt Creality Falcon 2 is the first one they sent me that I thought could cut through anything I needed it to cut through. So. That was a huge bonus. The Falcon 2 22 watt laser that I received last year totally changed how I run my business. If you're over on my Patreon, you know I've made an entire new Patreon tier for laser files. You can go check that out, patreon.com slash darkhorseworkshop. And if you visited my website recently, darkhorseworkshop.com, you'll see that a bunch of the patterns that I have up there are slowly getting laser file releases as I go through them and convert them all. Creality currently has a huge sale on the Falcon 2 40 watt and the Falcon 2 22 watt, as well as a bunch of other products. There's links in the description of this video. Go have a look. Why specifically did the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt laser change the way I do everything? For a 40 watt laser review, I certainly am talking about the 22 watt laser a lot. That 22 watt laser was by far the most powerful laser I'd ever used and it cut through everything that I needed to. The power of the 22 watt version of this laser meant that I didn't have to worry anymore about what it could and couldn't cut through like some of the other lasers I had reviewed in the past. And I mentioned in that 22 watt review that I thought the 40 might be perfect. And you know what? Always lotion, always lotion. Especially if you're working with your hands a lot, always lotion. My hands are destroyed. Where was I? Well, there's a couple of really cool, unique features on the 40 watt, such as precision mode, which will take it down to the 22 watt if you want a finer beam because the 40 watt has a wider beam. The power supply is obviously bigger and the 40 watt module is bigger. You'll go blind if that thing reflects into your eyes. So wear your safety glasses at all times and it'll cut through whatever you need to, to cut through. So that's pretty awesome. If you want to see an unboxing video of the Creality Falcon 2 40 watt laser, go watch my video of the Creality Falcon 22 watt laser because they're the same. The first thing you need to think about is this is an apprentice. Are you doing mass quantities of stuff? Are you cutting out a bunch of things for a craft fair? Are you working markets? Do you have an Etsy shop? Are you pumping out the products? This is a one time payment apprentice, which you just got to think about how much it costs to hire somebody to cut all that stuff out. This laser will pay for itself, much like buying a sewing machine and stopping yourself from hand stitching until you die. The second thing I would say is a laser like this can do a ton of intricate cuts. Maybe you want to put some artwork on something that you've made, but you don't want to take four hours to do it because the cost is going to skyrocket. Well, this is your little artistic minion to help you out. Or maybe you're me about a month ago where I had to do a badge wallet as a prop. Normally I would trace out the badge, punch it and cut it and just try and get the shape right. I just scanned the badge this time and then cut the whole of the badge outline with my laser engraver. Pretty simple. The Creality Falcon 2 22 watt and 40 watt are both great lasers. Check the description of this video for links to each. Obviously I'm a little biased. I'm doing heavier leather or if you just want a little extra speed and less charring, 40 watts always going to be your better bet. Now the 22 watt is a great laser as well. It'll cut heavy leather. It's just going to be a little slower, a little more charring. It's quite an awesome piece of equipment. I'm very happy to own one of them. If you're still here and you're interested in checking out either of my videos for the 22 watt version of this laser, you can check them out here and here. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.